He was uh, a thriller. A couple more points from you. You said calling cap on OF girls that say they disclose their career to men? Well, like, so I'm just saying if you met a guy and you really liked him and you thought he was a prospect and if he straight up asked you if you're sleeping with somebody else or like what you do for work if you had a feeling that he wouldn't approve of it right away would like a lot of girls say that they would tell would tell him but i don't i feel like women are who are out looking for a partner are going to be in like what yeah they lie yeah because you're in like a I just assume the mode. majority of the women that I go out with have an OnlyFans. That's crazy. Only, only, only like 2%, 1% to 2% of the population. In Los that. Angeles. Also, I would absolutely I never <laughs> <laughs> it. They probably have it. And I, I, I just don't even, I don't care. I don't ask. I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me though. Really? Because I'm, well, yeah, I'm not dating for like, I'm not trying to find a wife. So I'm just oh, like, okay, yeah. I'm do dating you? and dating I don't what? give a shit. What like, are you dating for? Um, Heartbreak? For entertainment. Cause like he's I, got a vasectomy, I, bro. He's I good. I, that's I I would love to like you know find somebody that uh, I would you know commit to and be with for a long period of time. But I don't need a wife or more kids. Or so anything then, like that. if you're not, but if you're not dating for marriage, you're what? essentially that's dating songs. for heartbreak. I'm a, well, for a who's, who's heartbreak? My own or yeah? Do you not like put yeah. any actual love into your relationship? Of course, yeah. I could be completely in love with somebody. And if you're and not dating them with the intent to, if they're suitable, get married, then aren't you just dating to? I don't necessarily break agree up? with marriage in general. Based. I don't yeah. think that it's a, based. It doesn't really benefit most guys at all. Based. Like I understand, like for a woman, like if you are, let's say that you are. Uh, you dedicated yourself to being a good mom and a housemaker and all that. You have no assurances then if you don't have a marriage, if you don't have a contract, because if the guy just decides to leave you and you have no money or no skills, you're kind of screwed. So I understand marriage in that regard, but I still don't. Is it like the, the government involved aspect of it? That well, you yeah, like, like having or? a contract in general. Like I went through it, and I, you know, I there are a lot of uh, so you don't hypocrisies want- happening there, and it's not quite beneficial to me. You know does like so the idea of like a contract is what is what like well, dedicating you, look, yourself if to you one. if you look at everything through a christian's worldview like you can't uh it just well, doesn't you, make you sense have to, to have those conversations with even if we're don't. not looking at a christian worldview like what is like if let's say for instance there's no god like at, at the very least your goal in life should be more than just fine pleasure and i disagree i think that it can be whatever you want that brings you happiness and doesn't hurt other people so i don't think that you have to have a greater purpose i like the idea of procreating and having kids and like that's for me personally a, a wonderful aspect of my life but i do not give a shit if somebody else shares that. wait let me ask you a question that perhaps can address the question that you just asked him so if we remo- remove religion from this, mm-hmm. what can a man get from marriage that he can't get from just having a long-term relationship with a woman? You can still be monogamous, you can still have children, you can still stay with them for the rest of your lives. What do you get from marriage that you can't just get from long-term relationship? I think like being able to sleep at night and knowing that you have a sense of stability that your significant other won't just like leave you like there's some sort of contract between you where you know that they're fully committed to you well people get divorced all the time and i i do not support i mean obviously there's cases where like abusive uh spouses that's bad but like people get divorced for a variety of reasons and and i think that marriage makes it harder for that though at least so basically your argument for marriage is it's basically the state at gunpoint like saying stay together because it's harder <laughs> like, no it's not the same because you're get... choosing to do it like yes obviously there is that aspect but like you're still choosing to get married even though the government is involved like i i would like the i would like to be in a relationship where i know i've done everything i can to make sure i'm in a committed relationship for the rest of my life like i so as a woman you feel more stable as a man we feel less stable i actually think the you relation think all men feel like that i think if you're married as a man and you're the breadwinner it necessarily means that that relationship is less stable because there's a, now a financial incentive what for the relationship to end. Can I add something on the marriage thing? Or maybe? Sure. Um, I, I get what she's saying, and you know, 100% you can get a divorce, like legally, yeah, but I think it's more of like a culture or like honor system in a way, and I think it's applicable for both men and women. You know, it's not the fact that you sign a physical contract. It's not the legality of it. It's the 
tradition of it or the, the fact that you could say we're married that's yeah. i feel like it like it kind of makes it more committed in a way but right. i know legally yeah you can definitely do that yeah but, you know the culturally, been romanticized, the, you culturally know. The it stands more of like a honor but thing. also like if know. someone is willing to like marry you on paper it probably means they're not planning to leave you like there are i've i've dated terrible awful guys before i met my fiance in high school where they would like basically manipulate me by being like oh I'll stay with you forever we're gonna get married all this stuff that yes I was gullible to believe but like you can't like really know for I mean you can kind of know but like you know for sure when someone like says I'm gonna marry you I'm gonna propose to you we're gonna get married and Mm -hmm. actually does it that's how you know they're really serious because unfortunately we do live in a culture where people lie and manipulate others into doing things well do you do you think when people get married that they're like this is that end. they're they, they're going into it like thinking they're it's going end like can you yeah. c- can you conceive a world where two people get married they have the full intention of going the distance they love each other the relationship's great and then maybe something happens oh yeah maybe that, things definitely. change and then they get divorced and there was no abuse maybe the woman yeah. gets bored maybe the guy wants to fuck a bunch of chicks in LA. <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, but like marriage to me, it's like it's two people staying together under threat of a lawsuit from the other. So what do you... And usually the man loses. That, that is true. Do, so do you have any um, thoughts around, let's say if a woman does commit her life to you and being like a good yeah. partner and mom sure. or whatever. Sure. I mean, Theoretically, you could walk away Mm -hmm. and leave her with no life skills or security, Mm -hmm. right? Do you believe that that's a moral issue or a legal issue? I don't think it should. You don't think the government should get involved at all? There there, there are are no guarantees for her if she, you know what I mean? If she sacrificed mm -hmm. having a career or whatever. I I would say that that's tough. it It is a fair argument. It is a fair argument for alimony, right? Right. Uh, in a situation where she's completely, you know, uh, in in an effort to, you know, help you, she's disregarded pursuing her career. Right. You were the sole breadwinner. She had kids with you. There could there's conceivable argument that there are some scenarios where alimony is justified. Right. But let's say, for example, like the way the law currently is, let's say she got a college degree. Hmm. And let's say she could re-enter the workforce and get a high five-figure or even a six-figure job. There, the, the law, as it currently is, she would still be eligible for alimony, despite her earning potential. I know. So, you know? Yeah, 